Thanks for joining in again folks, and this was a, a special video, as this is a place I've been wanting to go for a long long time, Noidart, Scotland's last wilderness, and I got the chance to, to head up with Dave, and we met up with Andy and Paul, where we, we headed to Malague, to the, the ferry port, we were going to catch the, the small passenger ferry in the Western, Western Isles. Uh, when I seen the size of it, I was looking over to Cal McBrain, uh, and then I thought, well, this one, you'll see it here, it's, it's pretty much like an old type of a sort of fishing boat, but uh, it was really enjoyable, the uh, ride across the waves and that, to the to the small village in Noidart of Inveree. So I'm hoping you'll, you'll keep tuned in, folks, and join this adventure. Uh, the four days absolutely enjoyed it. And it's one of those things that it's not a thing you would do every week, so it was well well planned in advance. As you'll see, the weather wasn't, but there's not much you can do about the weather. So, hope you keep tuned, folks, and enjoy the video. Okay. They prepare for the journey of their life with the nightcap in your fortune. Evening folks, Friday night and we've just, we got in on the ferry earlier on uh, today about 3 o'clock, we got the ferry from Malig to uh, Inverry, if I'm saying it, I'll put that up if I say it right, um, we're currently here at Noidart, which we're doing the three Monroes that are basically quite really remote, this is uh, the last wilderness in Scotland we call it and we've got a wee, a wee cabin we've managed to, to hire for the weekend. We're here for three nights, so we're going to split it air two days walking um, back in the Monday. But the weather, it's not looking good, but we're, not, we're just going to plod on and hopefully we don't get soaked or that tomorrow. That has to be higher winds and some rain, so hopefully it's not too bad we can get through it. Sunday's maybe looking a bit better, but I we're really looking forward to this. Um, so this is the three remote ones at Noida. Uh, you can either do it for the other side and um, walk into Barrasdale. But we've just chosen to get the ferry into here and make this one base camp. And we've also got the, the most remote pub in Britain as well here, the old Ford Gin. So I'll be looking forward to getting a wee pint in that tomorrow after my, my long walk. So aye, looking forward to it. This is a wee pier that we came into this morning, uh, where the wee ferry comes in and we get dropped off here, and we're just a wee short walk up here to the wee, the wee cabins which is just up here and behind the trees but I'll put that up and show you um, we got a wee bit inside it as well, the guys are in there as well they know, so, so there's myself, Andy, Paul and Dave the four days are up here for the three days to take these on so really looking forward to it so what I'll do is I'll be next time I see you, which will probably be in a couple of settings it'll be Saturday morning when we're, we're getting ready to head off and take on, hopefully, fingers crossed, the first two Monroes, weather permitting. So, I'll catch in then. Okay. Morning, folks. That's us, Saturday morning, and we're just getting ready to do the, the two Monroes in at Noidart. Um, weather the news is actually no bad. Um, the forecast for later on is to get pretty grim right enough with the, the rain and the winds coming in. So we got up about half five there, it's about half six now, time we've had some breakfast and that and get ready. And we're going to head in up the glen and try and get as much dry weather as we can. And the midges are quite rife as well. They were waiting for us coming out the, the cabin there. So I think it'll be a case I keep moving the day and try to get away from them. Because of all the rain we've had and the dampness now. But aye, we're looking forward to this. 
we're just waiting on uh, Paul and Andy and that, they're just coming out of the cabin now, so they'll catch up. So we're just going to head down this wee road to you, uh, takes you right in by the Old Folds pub, and we'll head straight in into Glen. I think there's a bit of a walk in the time we get there. But aye, we'll catch you in a wee bit further along. Okay. Right folks, that's us, we've come up this, this is the wee road that comes up for basically the wee cottage, we've come all the way up here, now we're going to be taking off up this way, you see Paul, Dave and Andy away up, we'll be going right round, right round the sort of skyline and coming back, I'm pretty sure we come back down this wee road and back out, so aye, it's been quite gradual all the way in, uh, till we get up here, then I'll probably strike off onto the hillside, but the weather's, weather's staying not too bad, a bit of wind, which I'm actually glad of, because the midges back down at the, the, wee, the wee cabin was horrendous when we got out, we were getting it alive, so, so that's just keeping them away, so I'll put up with this all day, I'm no bother for the weather's like this, uh, don't know if they're clear topes or that, we might not get that, but it's one of the things, isn't it? But hi, looking forward to it, so we'll keep going and we'll catch you in a wee bit further up again, okay? check in. That's us, we're about 500 metres we just came up there. This is looking back down the, to the bay where we're actually staying. Uh, we've come up at that glen, right up the side here, down here. There is a sort of shoulder there here which has got a, quite a, a hard scramble on it but we've just went to the Walk Highlands path which comes up through a lot of sort of ferns and bracken. So we try to skip around it a wee bit just to stay out of it because as you know 
full of ticks and that, so, so it's brought us to this point and this is a wee path. The path's just sort of here, so we'll be joining back onto that and heading heading back up here. But yeah, really gusty. That's us, we're all about the 500 metre mark, so probably about double this to go again, so imagine what the winds have got to be like further up. So we're going to carry on and hopefully it's not as steep as that, but it'll be a bit more gentle. Uh, taking us to the first top and we'll see where we are for there. Fingers crossed the clouds might move a wee bit, might get a bit of views, but no holding out for it, so if we do, it's a bonus. So I'll see you at the top. We're just on the final push to the, the first moon row and if you look behind me this is a bit we've had to actually climb up that to come all the way back doing it. We've dropped back down to about 780 metres and I think this one's about 940, 41, something about that and this will be the final push here so quite a wee steep climb back up but should hopefully be in our 20 minutes, something like that we should be near enough at the top and that'll be us at the, the top of the first one. We've still landed lucky, the, the summit's been clear all the way up, all the other summits have been in clouds, so we're hoping we can get there, try and get some views, so looking forward to it. So we'll catch in at the top. <laughs> yeah, Folks, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but the wind is <laughs> gusting. That's us at the top of the first one. So, as in tradition, we get to the top and uh, the clag comes in. Uh, which normally happens to me. But, that is clearing a wee bit. You can see back down, this will be the way back out. Coming down here, we'll walk back out the lock. Uh, before the clag comes in. Uh, the second one's there, here. You're not able to see before I get below my feet. <laughs> Aye, that's a, a tough wee bit to start with and then it's not too bad after that. There's a wee bit of drop down then back up again. So, I don't know if we'll hang about too long up here. Maybe get back down a wee bit and get that shell up. We'll also be ridging up on the second one. I say the wind's coming in quite strong now. Uh, the week is going to be July in a couple of days. Mental weather. So, I'll catch in a wee bit further down there. And yeah, that one's Loon Bay. a wee check in, we didn't get time to check in at the second top there, uh, the weather's been terrible, so didn't hang about, absolute hammered with wind and rain, but this is us, we're back down, we sort of came up, run, run the back of this one, right up, right run, away into the depths, there's no way that there, right run this, and then we came back down the side, and we've caught onto this wee path, which has now turned onto sort of a Land Rover uh, track, it runs right along the side of the lock. We'll need to walk all the way back out the lock 
to the end up here. The probably seat's a bit brighter. We take a right and that takes you way back to where we are staying. So that's the way we came in this morning, but ah, this has been a, a grueling day between the, the rain and the wind. Oh, I, says, I don't know how it's going to turn out with the video or that, but I've been trying to get wee bits, but got towards that second one and coming off, it was horrendous. Can they, they just one, one thought, let's get done here as quick as possible. So I'm just going to be walking along here, so if I get anything else I'll, I'll put it up. I say hopefully the more uh, the, the weather might be a bit better as well, we've still got the other one today, the single one. So looking forward to that and fingers crossed we might get some better weather. So. I'll catch you in a wee bit anyway, uh, once we get along the track. Hi folks, that's me just checking in. That's us just basically back down while well, just heading to the, the wee bunk house. Um, hi, what a day. Didn't really get filming anything between the first one and the second one, it was just torrential. The rain was really bad and the wind was driving at you, so that was quite hard. Uh, some quite steep bits and that getting up and down as well, so I didn't really like to try and film it. Freezing cold, fingers weren't working, so camera had to get put away. But, uh, aye, so not really much at all for the second one. Um, but it's been a hard, hard day. That's, I think it's over 30k anyway we've done, so uh, aye. Land the Mora, we're hoping. Better, hoping for better weather, don't know what it's going to be like. The weather for the rest of the week's meant to be rotten as well, so but if we can get something better, even the way it is now, it would be great, but we'll wait and see. So I'll check back in tomorrow. Uh, just come back now to get my, my showers and that, get my dinner booked for eight, so hopefully that'll be nice. Get a wee pint, settle down for the night. So I'll see you then. I'll get, Morning folks, that's us on to our second day, uh, going to head up the Singleman Road today, that's us, we've just left the wee cabin, walking along towards uh, the sort of wee, wee pub and we're going to be taking a left and heading up today the single one, so aye, looking good, weather, hit or miss today again, but if we can get get rid of the wind for yesterday that'll be a, a, good, a good call, but Aye, just going to get on with it. I'll catch you in a wee bit further up. Hi folks. We're just still on this wee uh, Range Rover track, you can see we're coming up and um, we're going to be taking a right to cut off uh, which will take us right in to the boatman of Monroe and the days Monroe, it looks as if it's going to be quite a steep climb but we are, we're actually not going to do the loop, I think we're going to maybe just do an up and down uh, ram coming back down the other side because that's the same way we came out yesterday so we might just go up and back down and come back this way but we'll wait and see, so we're just going to be heading down through this, this forest here So I'll catch in at the bottom uh, before we, we take it up the, the main row. Okay. Folks, just a wee check in. That's us, we've come up to the end of the road, the, the track. I think we've done about 6k to get to here. And we're going to be heading up, up this way here, up by this wee ruin. Uh, and this is our objective today. 
So I think on, because we're going up and straight back down, I think this is about 20k, so we've done about 6k up to it. So we reckon it's only about 4k up, 4k back down, and then another 6k back out in the, the track. So a good bit of this, this walk's done in the track, because uh, it is quite a steep climb, which I'm not too bothered today, because we'll take my time. Yesterday was quite hard, just with the weather and that, so. Aye, so it's been pretty enjoyable now. No rain so far, and clouds are quite low, so probably no views of the day again, but try to get as much wee bits and pieces on the way up. But that's the wee ruin here in a wee cottage at one time. Look at how well built that is. Big thick wall, isn't it? Just a wee check in. That's us, we're up about 650 metres and we're in the in the clag. Um that's pretty much just been straight up. It's a bit like a sort of Ben Moore style, straight off, straight up. And you've already got the 6k walk in for the the cabin, which these, these are quite hard because you're starting for sea level, we are right on the beach basically where we're staying, so You've got no advantage at all, what mountains you're, you're maybe two and three hundred metres a start. But with these ones it's you're starting at zero, so you're you're taking the full mountain in, the full climb. So we're just heading up up this bit here. Paul just up ahead, Andy's further on. Dave's just coming up behind me there now. So aye, I'll keep going. See I don't know what the views I've got, but it might be nothing, it might just be clagged again. So I'm not holding it. But Still, still pretty enjoyable a day at least. I've not been soaked with rain so far. Oh, we'll keep going, see how we got on. Folks, this is uh, the trig point of the, the Monroe. I think we've got an RV bit to go to actually get to the top. So, looks like somebody's jammed a rock in between the, the trig point with it split. So, we're going to head on. It's just a wee bit of line here, I think. I've not got far to go. I'll catch in there. Sure? Yeah. Mine's actually marked at the one before, but <laughs> I'm at 1023. Folks, yeah. that's us checking in. That's us at the top of La Ven. And the final one for Noidart. That's all Noidart done for me. Uh, especially one just at the boundary and that's going the quiche as well at the other side. So that's these three done. Uh, good time we, were, we didn't start till later today, but still it's just about five to twelve, so uh, good time in getting here. So we're going to go back down the same way we came up. You can do the loop right out and back down, but we came down. It takes you back down to where we came off the other two yesterday, so we've just got to go back the way we came. It's quite a, a good wee walk back out that glen, and it brings us back down at the, the wee pub where we are sort of staying around about there. So, so hi, good wee walk today. Oh, at least today we can sit here and get a wee bit of lunch today. We're not getting bored about with rain and that. It's clagged in, but. Uh, it's not too bad. The one's died down as well, so we can sit and get some meat for a change. That second one yesterday, we, we just basically I didn't even take pictures, it was straight off it, straight down the side. So aye, another good one. No views, right enough, we've been cracking to get views for here. Uh, looking back, doing it, you know, that and that, but we've not got them, so. Uh, why these trips? You book it in advance and you need to just go, take the weather as it comes, so. Aye, still quite a good trip. Uh, looking forward to getting a fish and chips tonight again. Had it last night. <laughs> oh, 
Aye, so I'm going to go and get some eat and I'll catch you on the way down. We check in. Uh, myself and Andy's just came out this wee, wee point here, we outlier. Uh, we've come back down here and we'll be heading there the other side. This is the back of the, the manor we've just done. It's the first time we've had views really all weekend, so taking the opportunity to get some in, but spinning your right round here. Looking at this, I'm sure that's like Ben Scrafell there, there as well. I finally got some views, so just taking advantage of it. And looking back out here, that's really looking back out to sea, that's why we came in the ferry, so that'll take us back round to, to Oban. Uh, we'll be getting the ferry tomorrow about 11, so that'll be our route back out, out and round the coast. Aye, really enjoyable. So I'm going to leave it there and I'll maybe just catch in back down at the bottom. So hopefully you're enjoying it and keep tuned in. Okay. Folks, that's us. We're back down uh, off at La Venn. That was the last man of the weekend. Uh, had a cracking time. Um, the weather stayed pretty good today. It actually turned out quite well today. Didn't get any rain or that, so that's, that's worked out my benefit. But uh, a bit of clag at the top, so we never really got to see any views for the top. But still, still really good. And the way doing it cleared up a bit. The uh, clouds lifted to about seven, seven hundred and fifty metres, so we got some views. So aye, it's been really enjoyable. Um, we're going to be heading back, going to get some uh, some food, get washed up, and then we're going for the dinner. Uh, do the wee the old forge, uh, which is the remotest pub in Britain. So we'll get the ferry in here to get to it. But we've been in for the last couple of days, staying in the mountains. Um, we're in there last night just for our food, but we're going tonight night, to get our food, and maybe get a couple of pints to, to end the trip, and then I'll be back on the ferry tomorrow, back back over Monday morning. But aye, it's been really good. Uh, really glad to get these three done. See, these are the really remote ones and all that. I've done the other side as well, with the school and the quiche and that, so they're all out the way as well. 
So that's all the sort of annoyed that one's done. So I'm just in at the pier here, that's where the ferry comes in. Uh, quiet, need to about nice and peaceful. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the drone up hopefully now and try and get some footage just from about the, the wee village if I can. Hopefully it doesn't interrupt anybody or that. Uh, like you see a wee bit of the village and that for the for the pier. So I'll I'll finish it off there and I'll catch you in later. Okay. <laughs> I like to win weary for men on a quest to wander among among the mountain tops of Scotland's last wilderness as they arrive. They prepare for the journey of their life with a nightcap in the old forge. Night cat.